Welcome to the Progressing Shop. Today we are looking at the installation of the uh, carb fuel pressure sensor kit along with the uh, flex fuel kit which comes in uh, two boxes. Um, the uh, flex fuel kit and then the uh, uh, flex fuel module in a separate box. So uh, let's start with the fuel pressure sensor. Uh, so here it is, it's uh, this uh, sensor here. It comes in the box with fittings to go on the stock lines here. I have A and uh, fittings in a braided line, so I, I took uh, uh, an adapter to be able to fit the uh, fuel pressure sensor directly into uh, my uh, A and fittings here. And you connect the uh, wire of uh, the flex fuel, the uh, fuel pressure sensor, sorry, it runs here and connect to uh, the connector of the TGV on that side. So you can't really see it, it's buried uh, behind there. Then you have the flex fuel sensor actually that measures the ethanol, is this thing. Uh, it comes with two different brackets to secure on the side of the car. Uh, for 04 and 05, uh, there is actually no room as you can see here, to uh, uh, put the sensor against the firewall here. So they give you a sticker uh, if you want to try to stick it somewhere. Here I just put it in line with the rest of my lines here. I have also a fuel filter just in front of everything to uh, uh, in case any crap gets in the system. Um, and so here you have the module uh, that is actually going to send the info to the ECU. Uh, so this, you will see when it's finished, it's, uh, I just secure it on the bracket for the intercooler. So for, to power this, you need to tap the power from the rear O2 sensor. So the rear O2 connector is actually here. You unplug it and they give you a, a T connection here. So uh, that's the original connection coming from the rear O2. That's going back into the car and you just put that in between and it runs a wire here all around that actually just provides power to this module. Then this, this uh, module is connected here to the uh, um, flex fuel sensor and it's also connected, where is the other wire? Uh, over here to the TGV connector. So that's where the data is gonna go to the ECU, to that TGV connector. We get the power from the rear O2 and the data from the sensor here. And so that little module uh, processes data and sends it to the ECU. And so that's uh, basically it. So uh, of course, if you install that system, you, that means you are not using TGVs anymore. I uh, already have the IUG TGV deletes here. So we are picking on this side for uh, the fuel sensor pressure, fuel pressure sensor, sorry. And uh, here we have the uh, SNL sensor, the module that gets its power from the rear O2 and uh, sends the data through the uh, TGV connector on this side. And that's basically it. And uh, just have to find a way of doing a neat plumbing. I'll show you on the other car that still has a stock fuel rail how we do it. So here we have the flex fuel sensor, and here we have we have the fuel pressure sensor that is fitted in the uh, um, flex fuel uh, sensor. So here on both sides it's uh, three eight uh, fitting. So here we are converting the three eight into a uh, N six fitting. So you have those uh, Russell uh, sixty four one twenty three, which converts the three eight SCE into a uh, and a 6 end, so they look like this. So it's a fitting in two parts. You unscrew this part. Okay. And so now um, this part of the fitting is going to come here. This side of the fitting comes here. The other side here just slides in. And then here you just have to tighten it. So here we have a uh, 644113 and you can see inside you have the uh, there's an o-ring in there and uh, so it, uh, it clamps around. 
uh, those are the, uh, the the feeding size for the fuel rail. So here on your stock fuel rail, you use one of uh, those five sixteenths ones to go into A and six, and then you can go to your fuel line. So now here on that top line, which is the feed, we are gonna put the flex fuel sensor and the fuel pressure sensor. So here we have the TGV connector on the uh, passenger side. We're running the wire on top of the intake here. And that's going to the uh, fuel pressure sensor that is here. Here we have the module for the flex fuel kit. And so the power for this comes from the uh, O2 connector harness, so here's at the O2 connector harness that goes to your rear O2. So they give you a, a tap here that can up here, and uh, I routed the wire here to provide power to the module. Um, actually, here I also have a white band that is tapped in this, so uh, I don't use a rear O2 anymore, but even if you use a stock O2, that's just to take the power here. And so here we have a car with stock fuel rails. Um, so you can see the uh, stock fuel rails coming here. We have those Russell uh, adapters to go from the fuel rail to N6 fittings. Those are our fuel lines coming from the gas tank in uh, N6. So here's my feed. And so there is not really room to put uh, the fuel pressure sensor, the ethanol sensor, and the fuel filter all in line over here. So There's uh, no room to cram that every, every, everywhere, I mean anywhere here. So what I did is from the N6 I have a Russell adapter to go from AN to uh, the carb holder for the fuel pressure sensor, then the ethanol sensor, another adapter to go back to AN, then I go 180 degrees back into my fuel filter and then into the fuel rail. That's the uh, best fit I found in the engine bay for uh, the thing. So fuel line comes straight, then our fuel pressure sensor, ethanol sensor, fuel filter, and then fuel rail. And uh, in terms of connection for uh, sending the data, the uh, connector is here. It's going in, yeah, it's here. That's the uh, TGV connector connected to uh, the harness to so that this guy can send the data to the CU so the uh, uh, TGV connector on the driver side. So that's uh, pretty much the whole setup for the uh, carb uh, flex fuel kit. Uh, tap into the rear O2. Tap into the TGV here, tap into the TGV over there for the uh, fuel pressure sensor, if you have the fuel pressure sensor. And uh, then you can uh, just use 80 degree fittings here, another 90 degree here, and uh, everything straight there with the adapters, and uh, that just fits nicely into the uh, engine bay. The new uh, top flex fuel kit, SNL sensor, uh, the uh, flex fuel module that sends the data to the ECU to the uh, TGVs and the new also fuel pressure sensor is connected to the TGV connector on the other side. New timing belt, new top inlet hose here, the V2, some protection uh, for the rubbing against the alternator and some more protection in the back uh, with the turbo restrictor. But Otherwise, uh, everything running nice and smoothly. Uh, now just uh, have to get some E85 and tune it on E85.